please watch till the end. I'm going to share info you can use right now if you're feeling anxious and stressed. Hey my beauties, it is Yogini Viv here and today I have a really special video for you. So let's do our first point. The first point that is great for calm and anxiety, very powerful point is um, heart seven. What you do to find it is run a finger down your pinky, that line to your wrist, and I'm just checking in my viewfinder that I'm showing you, you can see it, till you get to the wrist crease. So you're gonna get to the wrist crease, and you'll feel a bone here. There's a little bony knob right here. Come in from that, and you should feel a hollow. So basically, it's a point right here, on the heart meridian. So then rest your hand down, take your, let's take the right thumb, and on the left hand, we're gonna press this point. So it's on the wrist line, okay, and you'll feel a hollow, and then rest your left hand down, and I'm gonna to talk to you while we hold. So you're pressing with your thumb, and you wanna feel like you're um, pressing your finger through mud, right? So you, you go in a little bit, and breathe and hold. Take some deep breaths with me. You can close your eyes if you like, if you want to, okay? And you're gonna watch me get calmer as I do this. So we're gonna hold for about a minute. I'm pressing my thumb onto the point I showed you. And so the heart is is considered the leader of the body, like the king or the queen. And this directly affects the energy flow. And then we're also gonna do another point on a meridian that is the protector of the heart. Its whole role is to protect the heart. So this one here, heart seven, we're holding. And I'll have the name flash on the screen. And just breathe. So this is a great point for calm. It's said that when... All right, so we're holding heart seven. So rest your hand down on your lap and with your right thumb, you're just gently holding the point. And you'll probably, depending how out of balance you are, I'm gonna be honest with you, if you're really out of balance, it takes a little longer to feel it. And also it's normal that it can take, you know, a few minutes, absolutely, but it can take an hour, maybe a little more, depending how stressed you are, and just your body and your body's energy flow. So we're still holding, and now to release any of these points, Take about three seconds and slowly come up out of the point, again, as if you were lifting your finger out of mud, all right? And then just for a moment, just go like this. It's just nice and soothing. Let's do the right hand. So trace down from your pinky finger to the wrist crease, and then you'll feel a hard bone, and we never press on a hard bone. That's actually more of a martial art to disable or to hurt somebody, right? So we don't press on bone. It's always a soft or a hollow. Okay, so we found it again. Rest your hand down and let's do for about a minute. You can close your eyes and breathe. Deep belly breaths, inhaling, inhaling, belly expands, ribs expand. Sit up tall, exhale. Okay, the breath is really powerful. I know many of you have heard of breath work the base of breath work is a nice, fully oxygenated breath. And we're going to release slowly, come up as if you're lifting your finger out of mud, slowly, and then just briefly put the opposite, like a mother hand, we say, just sort of rest it there for just a moment. So, so let's go to our second point for stress and anxiety that I chose for you. Large intestine four, I just want to give a warning. Do not use that on pregnant women, especially early in pregnancy. If stimulated strongly, it's one of the potent points in acupressure and acupuncture that can start 
labor. This one is super easy to find. So again, on the hand, I specifically chose the most powerful points that are accessible. Okay, so your hand is like this, right? Between the thumb and the index finger. Okay, and so it's like a V, right? And you're going to the base of the V. So index finger, thumb, and then right here. You don't go as far as like the bone, but you go into the hollow of the V. Okay, yeah, actually that's a good shot. That's a good angle here. And then rest your hand down and breathe and apply some pressure. So when you do these potent acupressure points, I want you to think of not like muscling into it, right? not like straining into it. It's supposed to be for stress and anxiety. So we want to stay relaxed, <laughs> okay? Instead, think that you breathe and you lean gently. You just let your body weight drop. Does that make sense? So it's not about strength. It's using your body weight, okay? Now this is gonna be tender. Let me know in the comments because I know for probably about 70, 80% of you, this point is going to maybe literally feel a little bit painful. This point, you may see that it really helps with constipation, elimination, but what it also does is harmonizes the energy, especially between the upper body and the lower body. So it's, it's relaxing, okay? So also what I'm doing, let me show you, I'm making small circles with my thumb. So I'm not sliding on my skin, I'm pressing, but I'm sort of giving it a little, little circular motion, okay? So try that. And I'm just also talking just to, you know, you're holding while you're listening to me, just to give you some background. Okay, large intestine, very much about, it's the colon, it's about elimination, but it definitely has to do with stress all through the nervous system, right? So when we're stressed, I bet some of you get constipated or some of you may get diarrhea. That can be related to other meridians. And I'll talk more again. If you want me to talk about digestive issues and potent points for that, let me know. Okay, let's release slowly. And I just do a little rub or this point I just rub because it, because it's slightly in the hollow holding. You can also hold. Again, if you hear any weird sounds. All right, <laughs> it's the dog. So that V, you see that crease in my hand? That, that V between the thumb and the index finger Right, right about here. There you go. It's there. And hold your hand down and I'm just pressing and we're breathing together. <sighs> Do these right when you're stressed. You could put your hand below your desk if you're at work or just find some place uh, private where you can just do these simple points. Hold for a minute, a minute and a half, two minutes. Okay, and again, let me know if it's tender at all. And we're gonna release to a count of like two, good. All right, and I just do like this, just to like soothe it out. Okay, last point that we're gonna do, and I promise you these do work. Please comment, please give the video a thumbs up when you feel the effects. Last one, all right, I chose pericardium six. So I'm just giving you like the Western name. Sometimes they have beautiful names like Spirit Gate or, you know, Rushing Spring. The name gives a sense of what the point does. So pericardium six, we're actually gonna be down here. I'm gonna give you the easiest way. So three fingers and just again, wrist crease, right? It's the top finger and just measure three fingers. So let's go and it's in the middle of the, of two tendons here, okay? Very powerful point. So you can see I'm just indicating it's in the middle line of the forearm on the palm side, three finger widths. So you would just measure, let me turn, okay? You measure three and then it's there and then rest your hand down. What's beautiful about this system is that it's based on your body. So rather than the, you know, it seems like, well, why don't you just say one inch or two inch? Well, no, if you're, you know, a basketball player, it's gonna, it depends on your proportions. Or if you're some big beefy guy with thick fingers, your whole body is in proportion versus if you're a petite little person, and then you're gonna use, you know, it's gonna be smaller. So that's what's beautiful about the measurements. 
So we're holding the point. So pericardium, they use a metaphor of almost like a government system where everybody has a role. And so pericardium is called heart governor, heart protector. Its sole role is to protect and defend the, the sovereign, the king or queen. And so this is a very powerful point for creating calm. Again, I'll put the indications up on the screen. Breathe. You could hold for a minute, minute and a half. And now come up, out of the point. Good, and for that, I just do like that, just briefly. Hmm, okay, other hand, three finger widths or two thumb widths because again, your thumb is fatter at the widest part and then at the end of that. So when I say the three finger widths, let me show it again on here. It's not where that third finger is, it's like where it, the edge of it is. And if you're not sure, there's a way that works. What you do is move an eighth of an inch up or down or around, but following the you know, specifications, you will find it. It'll feel more like, ah, like that's a point. Often you feel a slight sense of relief, or you might feel uh, pain like in the large intestine uh, four. That's one that's often painful on folks because our food today is a lot of crap. And so that's why I say to you, for some of you, it might, um, that particular point might be uncomfortable, okay? Breathe, inhale, exhale. And I'm still holding, but always just relax the hand down. So you don't wanna hold it up like that. I just did that so you could, you know, see. So you wanna be relaxed, you wanna breathe. Close your eyes at any point during this. And we're releasing our last point and then don't go away yet. I just wanna give you one last bit of important information. So I'm releasing. And then again, just place one hand soothingly over the point. Okay. Yeah, pause right now and notice how you feel. Sit up nice and tall, breathe. You could rest your hands, palms up on your legs, straighten your spine. So if you have a presentation or something that's stressful, a dentist appointment, doctor's appointment, you can do these three points, okay? Now, if you would like to work with me based on whatever health condition as a supportive adjunct to your medical care. So we would work with potentially yoga, meditation, mindfulness meditation primarily, and these meridian points. And I would give you a whole um, routine for you so a practice that is customized for you that you can do. I recommend three sessions and I'll put the link below because the first session I introduce you, I give you your practice based on discussion and you filled out a form beforehand so I know about you and then I'll give you some practices. The second session is nice. You can check in your questions. You'll notice the changes and if we need to tweak anything and then that third session we wrap up you make sure you understand everything and you can continue your routine. Okay, so do check the link below and I hope this served you and I know it did. Some of you might just want it for short term, but some of you are dedicated to your healing and living your best life. So, it's a little doggy visit here. A dog and a cat fight about to break out. We hope not. I'll talk to you soon. Be well.